So here's how to make the most delicious roasted pumpkin soup. And you will find the full recipe, of course, in the link below. First, obviously, take one pumpkin and you are going to chop it up into chunks, this kind of size, with the skin on, that's all fine. Chop it in half first, take the seeds and all the little kind of frondy bits out so you just have the chunks of the pumpkin flesh. And then you want to season that with lashings of olive oil, such a great gut-friendly oil. And then I'm going to use balsamic vinegar as well. This is great because it makes the pumpkin go kind of caramelized. So you get all the sort of sugary flavor from the balsamic. Plenty of salt and pepper to really bring out the flavor. So I'm grinding some sea salt and some black pepper. And then you want to add some garlic. And the simplest way to do it is just to get a whole bulb of garlic and then just take out maybe three or four cloves and just scatter those onto the actual pumpkin pieces. Don't need to peel them because the skin will come away anyway in the roasting process. And then lastly, just a little bit of fresh thyme sprinkled over. Thyme and pumpkin are a fantastic combination. So putting those in. And then we're gonna roast these for about 20, 30 minutes, just until it's softened. Give that a good stir in, just to get all the pumpkin pieces coated with the olive oil, the balsamic, the salt, the pepper, and the garlic cloves thrown in there for good measure. So I'm going to pop that into a medium oven. It's around 190 degrees. So it's going to come in over here. And then I'm going to get going with preparing the seeds because you know you can roast your own pumpkin seeds, so don't throw them away. What I've done, these are the actual seeds. So I've just taken the stringy bits of pumpkin off. And then what you need to do is you're gonna roast them, but before you roast them, you need to boil them. So it takes about 10 minutes of boiling the pumpkin seeds. So I have had some here boiling away. Just pop them on a hob and I'm gonna rinse them in some water just to cool down. So these are my clean boiled pumpkin seeds and you want to dry them. So tip them onto a cloth or some kitchen towel and then you season them so they will be really tasty when you roast them. So these are just nice and dry pumpkin seeds. So I'll pop them onto a roasting dish and then season them again you can season them with pretty much anything that you like. So if you are a big chili fan, you could season them with dried chili flakes. You can use herbs. You can use your favorite seasoning. I'm going to use a little bit of smoked paprika. I find this is a really good um, all round seasoning, actually. It just works on so many different things. So you just literally toss your pumpkin seeds into the salt, pepper, and whatever your flavoring is of your choice. And then you're going to roast those. So I'm gonna pop these also in the oven. Keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn, but about 10 minutes or so, we'll see those crisp up nicely. So I'll pop those in there. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually make the flavored uh, juice. So if you want to take a look at this, this is, the stock. Now this is vegetable stock here that has got onions, chopped up onions in it to give it a really good flavour. So I've used a couple of red onions that I'm just going to slice quite thinly and that goes into, so two red onions go into about a litre of vegetable stock and you want to simmer that for 10, 15 minutes and so until the onions are really soft. Um, first of all, just saute them in a little bit of olive oil just to get the flavor for the onion, then pop them in your vegetable stock. And then that's what I've already got going on there. And then the finishing touch is orange. Okay, it's a bit of a magic ingredient here. 
So you need to use orange zest. So I'm using the large bits on the grater, the large side, just because it's easier, frankly, and it's quicker to do. So I'm going to zest most of the orange. And then I'm going to add that to the stock liquid and also the juice of the orange. So you want the fresh orange juice. So I do that. And then while I'm there, let me just slice the orange in half. So first of all, in goes the orange juice. You don't need to use a juicer, you can just squeeze it by hand. That going in like that, and then the other half, and then you cook this through for another 10 minutes or so with the orange zest because obviously you want to just get the orange zest flavour going through the soup. Also, it looks really good, adds a good colour. So while that is simmering away, you would then take your pumpkin out of the oven, okay, once that's cooked, so it's all nice and it's soft and it's caramelized. So this is some that I did. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. So you've got nice soft bits of pumpkin and then you just literally take off the pumpkin skin. It's really quick and easy to do, it just falls away. And the same with the cloves of the garlic, you just they just pop out of their skins. So that's gonna make it really easy when it comes to whizzing it all up with the stock. So I've got my cooked, softened, caramelized pumpkin pieces. I've got my cooked garlic here. And I'm gonna take my stock, which after 10 minutes or so will be ready. And I can whiz that all up, make it really simple, just do it all in the same saucepan. So into my stock, I'm going to put my pumpkin pieces and my garlic. That all goes in there like that. And then I'm going to use a hand mixer to mix all that up together smell is amazing. It's such a great way to get your beta carotene, which is the vegetable form of vitamin A. So you can make a little bit of a noise. just want to check and adjust the seasoning because you can add a little bit more salt or pepper if you want to. Mmm, that's good. Really getting the flavour of the onion and the uh, orange coming through. I'm going to add a little bit more salt I think into that. Um, and also I can taste the thyme. So it's a really good complement of flavours. Stir the extra bit of seasoning in. And then when you serve it, keep a little bit of the thyme back because that really makes a really pretty garnish. Looks good. If you want to, you can keep a few of the chunks in if you want a chunky soup or you can puree it really smoothly if you want to. And then of course, I'm going to add a little swirl of kefir onto the top. Or you could use a bit of plain live yogurt or Greek yogurt would work really well or a little bit of creme fraiche. And then a few sprigs of the fresh thyme sprinkled on that. And then for the final touch, don't forget your pumpkin seeds. So when they come out of the oven, this is what they look like when they're all toasted. So you've got these toasty, tasty pumpkin seeds that have come from your pumpkin. And you just sprinkle those onto the top. And there you have it, the most delicious, nutritious bowl 
of roasted pumpkin soup. Bon appétit.